Welcome to another episode of Everyday Mechanic. Today I'm going to show you, because people have been asking about test lights and which ones to use and it don't work on some people's cars but it'll work on other cars. The, the window, um, activating the window regulators through you, through the, um, for the car's computer system. So basically I'm going to show you what a test light is, an incandescent test light. is basically a bulb, so if we look at this, we have a vehicle bulb which is a H7 and just two pieces of wire and all it's going to do, you've got two prongs on the bottom of a H7 bulb you can pull this out your headlight if you needed to and just tie two bits of wire around it so it's in series and all you do is use one end it doesn't matter which end it is because it's a coil so then you just go to your positive terminal on your battery if you're looking for a negative on the other side so what you do, you obviously do your quick test, your bulb lights up. Now let's just say we are looking for a computer ground or some kind of, any kind of ground or to just to trigger something. If you unplug a sensor on a car and you wanted to find a ground, you just touch your wire in there and if you get a find a ground, your bulb would light up. But the beauty of this is if you was to put this into your computer wires back to the ECU of the car and you get the wrong wire, you're not going to blow nothing. All you're going to do is light the bulb up. That's the beauty of a test light and that's why you should use test lights to, to do any kind of basic fault finding. And with the window mechanism, what we got here is your test light is going from a ground, which will be a battery ground, it can be from the body of the car, any kind of ground. Now, when you feed the computer system on your window regulator, this is just an example, you are sending that ground through the element of the bulb to the other end of your wire to fool the computer into thinking it's seeing a ground, which will be your switch which would operate the window mechanism because this is what's called low side low side switching, the high side switching is done by the module itself and that's how it works so yeah if you ever need to use a test light or if you want to make one that's exactly what an incandescent test light is it's a bulb in series with two wires just look at the end there you can make your own that easy. And yeah, that's the safest way you can ever find. If you want to know if you got power to, I don't know, if you, if you unplug your headlight and you want to know if you got power going to your ball because you got a blown ball, stick one end of your test light to your battery negative or to chassis ground, you know, chassis part of the body, it doesn't matter. But you want to get to the negative part. Yeah, let's we'll jam that into your battery there, and then you'd stick this end into your wires and check to see if you got your positive. Because if you get a positive, your bulb lights up. And I hope I've explained that well enough to you guys. Because this is just a DIY thing. You could buy test lights; they're cheap enough. But you must use an incandescent test light. An incandescent means basically a bulb. The bulb takes the load of any incorrect polarities. So instead of spiking an ECU computer and blowing something up or blowing fuses, the bulb lights instead, and that's the whole point of it. And this is the safest way to test for powers and grounds. Hope that makes sense. Trying to keep things simple, and yeah, if you can, hit the uh, notification button, and more videos are coming soon, so we get you notified about them subscribe and like the videos if you like them. Cheers.